Did you ever do something like a vacation or other grand experience and <gasps> bears, 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 bears. Then the moment it's over, you start thinking about how you can do it again. Or maybe it's an object that you can't get out of your mind or a feeling or some combination. One of the most common requests I have received recently is to share my experience and decision making when it comes to cameras and photography in general. So this video is not a review. This video won't teach you any specific photography technique or how to use your camera. <laughs> this is just me sharing a somewhat personal and possibly embarrassing story about how this Leica Q2 came to live at my house. Early in 2019, I was fortunate to receive a loaner Q2 from Leica. During the time that I had the camera to try out and review, she and I had a great time together. I have to say that there's nothing quite like a Leica. I've used and reviewed a number of them. The CL, SL, SL2, Q, and Q2. Each that I have used has helped me to achieve a certain flow state in creating my art. And I realize that some people feel that and others don't. I do. And a part of that is that I consider the cameras themselves to be a convergence of function, art, and design in their own right. There is simply a certain experience that I have when I use them, which has led to each time I've borrowed or used a Leica, I have felt the pain of having to box it up and hand it back. But there was something about the Q2. From the time that I sent the borrowed Q2 back to Leica, purchasing a Q2 of my own or recreating the feel of the Q2 has been a pursuit for me. Knowing that the Q2 wasn't necessarily the most efficient camera for my work, and considering that it is a significant investment, it's taken a while to get to this point. Selling some items, not purchasing others, in order to save up dollars in my Q2 piggy bank. In the meantime, we have tried to create the feel of the Q2 out of other cameras and parts. Trying to match that same experience that I felt with it. We purchased this Voigtlander lens and Z-mount adapter to use with our Nikon Z cameras. We had a Fuji X100F for quite a while, and we purchased the accessory wide angle converter lens to match the Q2's effective focal length. We used our Sony body with the 24 millimeter F1.4 G Master. And I even tried the Sony RX100 Mark VII. I actually almost purchased that one. We even went super simple and old school with our D50 and 24 millimeter lens. And you know what? We even tried to go further back in time, but we never felt we really got there. I did enjoy each setup I used, sometimes a lot. I mean, I love photography and using all of the gear out there, but again, there was something about that Q2. I don't know what it was, but today I did it. I'm officially a Leica owner. I have used a lot of cameras that I liked and I own many cameras, but the Q2 spoke to me. It hit me in the art bone. <laughs> in today's day and age where cameras are doing everything faster and smarter, allowing me to do things in my work that I am so happy about. Using this camera, it's not about business though. It's, it's a type of therapy for me. It's something that I can pick up and almost cleanse my palette with. Now, I'm not exactly likening this very pricey camera to a sprig of parsley, but I review a lot of gear and I need that time in between to depressurize. I mean, in the less than two months in this year alone, I've shown you a Fuji camera, a Sony, and Nikons always work their way into our videos, even when it's just the camera filming, like now. <laughs> I have a ridiculous number of lenses on my shelf right now that I'm borrowing for review and I love that. I'm not even sure how many camera bodies and lenses I reviewed last year. I enjoyed using all of the new stuff. I take my job very seriously as a resource for you to listen to my observations and see the photos that I share and then make an informed decision about what's right for you. And I did that with the Q2. You can go back and watch my review. I will, I'll link to it in the description of this video, but now what you'll see me doing with this camera is just fun stuff. It was quite frankly an impractical and expensive business decision to purchase it. 
<laughs> After all, it has been out for almost a year. These days, in digital years, that's an eternity. But other than the fact that I just plain love the camera, part of my job is staying consistently creative so I can continue to bring you new and different and fresh content. And this undeniably helps with that. So I added Leica to the family. I will surely share more photos and adventures that I take with the Q2 and all the other delights that I have on the shelves behind me. There's another camera that Raymond and I are actually excited to bring into the family soon, but maybe, just maybe in the near future when a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday goes by and there's not a new video on my channel, you can bet that this Q2 and I are off on one of those adventures, staying in the moment, but also with an eye and a lens toward capturing the world around me as I see it. Okay, that's all. Maybe that was a little heavy, maybe a tad dramatic, but it's what happened. <laughs> that was the year long process of purchasing this Q2, a camera that was not necessarily a smart business decision. It isn't the most flexible camera out there that will allow me to photograph all of the things all of the time, but it will make me darn happy and feed the artist inside in a way that my other cameras just don't. Which brings me to the end of this video. Before you go though, I would love to hear from y'all out there about what camera feeds your artistic side. Or you know what, have you been watching this video, scratching your head and saying, what is she talking about? <laughs> Cause that's okay too, we're all different. But I would love to hear from you. And thanks for watching.